What's good, YouTube? It's Justin checking in with I Talk Fitness, and uh, I decided I'm gonna give you guys a little video series on my workout routine split. So it's Monday, June 24th, and I'm gonna be filming each one of my, uh, uh, basically each one of my workouts for you guys, letting you guys know what my split is like. So I'm going to the gym, hit shoulders Monday. See you guys there. Peace. All right, so we got dumbbell shoulder press. Um, right here, I'm doing five working sets, um, eight reps each, 70 pound dumbbells. As you can see, I got my belt on to keep my back straight. Um, right here, I'm just really fo focusing on form, keeping my shoulders nice and tight, keeping my form nice and strict, and just focusing on the contraction of the shoulder and the, and the delts. Um, a lot of time, people will go really heavy and forget about the contraction and actually put a lot of the stress on on their pecs and um, not have good form next we got dumbbell Arnold press um, I do three sets 10 to 12 reps right here I cut the weight really light because um, after the five sets of dumbbell shoulder press my shoulders are really torn like I said again really focusing on the form and the contraction of the shoulder blade not the shoulder blade but the shoulders itself the shoulder cap I'm bringing it down making sure I get a full contraction, keeping tension on my shoulders the whole time. may not be a lot of weight, but it uh, gets the job done. Hitting the front delts, the rear delts, all that. Next, it's no surprise, dumbbell lateral raises, four sets, 10 to 12 reps each. Um, on lateral raises, I tend to like higher volume on my shoulders, um, higher reps for this exercise particularly, just to get that nice pump going in my shoulders even though it's not going to have any effect on, um, you know, help building muscle. But as you can see, I'm really targeting the uh, outer delt cap. Next up, we got a little, a little flex for you guys. Just showing you my triceps, a little, little bit of my men's physique pose going there. Um, just showing you guys uh, my conditioning right now. Not where I want to be, obviously, not stage ready, but uh, we'll, we'll be there soon. Um, get that side chest going. Next, we got uh, reverse flies. I happened, to, I actually started these um, basically one to two months ago, and uh, I, I find that it really, really targets that rear delt really nice. You know, you don't got to worry about keeping your back straight because you're on the bench. And, uh, your form's gonna be nice and good. But you really wanna, really wanna focus on bringing those elbows back and squeezing the tension on the rear delt right there. Um, obviously, you're gonna go lighter weight. So next up, we got upright rows. This is gonna really focus on the lateral head of the shoulder. Um, I just like to finish up, you know, with two sets, uh, ten to twelve reps. Um, on my exercises that aren't really heavy compound movements, I like to go higher reps for some reason, 12 to 15. Um, still getting a nice blood flow to the shoulder, still getting a nice shoulder contraction, um, breaking down the muscle fibers. Next, I always like to finish up my shoulder workout or my back workout with these um, face pulls, four sets, 10 to 15 reps. Obviously, this isn't a really strenuous exercise on your shoulders because you're going to get that out of the way at the beginning of the workout. Next off, you just really want to polish off your shoulders, give that nice little round, um, that round look to your shoulder caps. And what that is, is your rear delts. A lot of the times, people that don't have um, that round shoulder look is because their rear delts are really lagging, and that's what I've been working on. Next up, we got tricep cable extensions. Five sets, 10 to 15 reps. Um, I like really, like I said, I like going to, higher reps on my triceps and biceps, but um, right here it's just a basic cable um, cable extension. Um, when you're doing your triceps, see how I keep my elbows really locked in to my side? You really want to keep your elbows straight and um, tucked, in to, tucked in on the side and keep them really nice and tight. And what you really want to be doing is focusing on the pushing motion and move, moving your forearm and using your triceps to push down that weight. Showing you a little bit of my abs. It's good. So that was uh, the shoulder workout. I hit it with my boy Matt. <laughs> um, shout out to him for filming. 
But uh, now I'm about to do some high intensity interval training. Like I said, it's Monday, June 24th. And um, this is my workout split vlog for the week. I'm gonna try and upload it each day as I film it. And um, so today my choice of cardio equipment is the elliptical. Hitting this bad boy. I usually put it on an incline of 10. Um, warm up for five minutes, do 10 sets of uh, 15 second interval sprints, a minute rest, and then a five minute cool down. It comes out to about 200, 250 calories burned. All right, peace out. All right, so now I'm on the cool down period of my cardio, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do on this thing for my hit sprints, high intensity interval training. So as you can see, the time is right here. It's calories burned. So go to the cross ramp, basically at which height you're going. I put mine on 10. And then I pace at the resistance on 10. So I warm up for five minutes. Once it hits the five minute mark, what you're gonna do is basically bump up the resistance to something that's very strenuous on the body, something that really struggles and challenges your body and you do that for 15 seconds. It's, it's not gonna be a, a walk in the park. I mean, you should be, you know, 80% of your max heart rate, 80% of your max heart rate. So, sprint for 15 seconds, watch the timer, drop it back down for 10, cruise for a minute, repeat that for 10 sets, cool down for five minutes, and there you have it. Um, try it out, guys, leave a comment. Comment down below, let me know how it goes. Man, solid, solid workout today. So that's my push day on Monday, June 24th. Chest and tries. Um, I'm fine with the way my chest looks like, so I've been hitting shoulders twice a week, bring them delts up, and by far, man, I mean, it's going pretty good, especially when I was in the off season, but, um, <sighs> Yeah, I'm on my way home. Gonna get some grub in me and I'll take you guys along with me, show you what I eat after my workout. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, we're in the kitchen and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to prepare. So let's take a look. Got two rainbow 40 calorie multi-grain bread. If you're curious on the macros, two slices is one gram of fat 17 carbs, 6 fiber, 6 protein. I got 5.8 ounces of tomato. And what I do for my tomatoes, I just um, sprinkle crushed peppers um, and some salt. Basically makes it taste hella good. Got some fat-free cheese, Kraft. Can't go wrong with sharp cheddar. Macros on that are 2 carb, 4 protein. Next, we got some Lighthouse Salsa Ranch. If you guys have this at your local Whole Foods or a supermarket, pick some up. Macros on it are good, tastes fucking amazing. Two tablespoons, five grams of fat, three carb, one protein. Can't go wrong with that, get, gotta get some good fats in there. As you can see, there's the label. And it also has 460 milligram ALA omega-3 per serving. So I got the fat-free cheese on my chicken, five ounces of chicken cooked, tomato, bread, I'm gonna toast it, and I'm put it all together and show you what it looks like. I'm putting the chicken in the microwave to melt the cheese a little bit. Chicken's melted. Add the chicken onto the bread. Apply tomatoes. Half serving of condiment. Boom, there you have it, solid. Getting the veggies in for the day, fiber, bomb. If you guys liked it, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below. Follow my social medias, I'll put everything in the description box below. Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter. Um, if you guys liked it, um, let me know. Give it a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you guys have any questions, go feel free to email me. And uh, if you guys were happening and wondering like what type of foods I'm eating during this contest prep um, and you'd like a video on like a full day of like what type of meals I'm eating, what type of foods I'm eating, because I don't eat, I don't eat everything the same day, everything the same day.
types of foods. I'm not. I'm not all about that. I'm not about the chicken, brown rice, and broccoli. Come at me. Um, like I said, it's a lifestyle that you're gonna have to try to sustain, and you're not gonna do it eating chicken, brown rice, broccoli, tilapia, six meals a day. Um, it's just not gonna happen. Um, you're probably gonna end up binging. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just now.